Here with a brand new minute, it's Hans Kim, everyone. Here we go. Hans Kim. Time for Hans Kim, everybody. Thank you guys. Good to be here. I hope you had a good 4th of July. I actually didn't get to see the fireworks. Does anyone have any pictures on their phone that I could take a look at? I feel like the scale and magnitude of fireworks is really captured by an iPhone 6. So i just like to take a gander at that. Uh, I think it's funny that Tanner is a white person's name. I mean, Tanner, then what? She'll be like, hey, this is my Mexican friend Tanner. That's my black friend Tanist. <laughs> uh, love rednecks, because rednecks can survive in any wilderness situation that you put them in, except a situation where everyone has equal rights. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of fucks them up. <laughs> you can live in a swamp with an alligator. Why can't you live in a cul-de-sac with a minority? Wow, that's it. 60 seconds in and out. Oh, shit. The newest member of the assassination squad, the great Hans Kim. Look at you. Thank you. What is that, a soccer jersey you're wearing? Yeah, it's a South Korean uh, jersey from the national team. Okay. Park All right. Home. Is that what place they, they were in? And like, Are they good at soccer? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're bad at soccer. Thanks for reminding me, Brian. <laughs> Hans, a very fun set. Fireworks, Tanner. I loved all of it. Absolutely fucking fantastic. I love that you spread it around. I saw you looking up at the balcony or like at least looking like you were looking at the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're absolutely adorable. Balcony, how you guys doing up there? Everybody comfortable? We have a, ba a giant balcony here at Vulcan that doesn't really translate to the video portion of the show. So what's going on? Did you, uh, did you like, ball that up and step <laughs> on it a bunch? I, the, how wrinkled that shirt is. It's quite incredible, Hans. I thought you people were good at dry cleaning. I didn't realize you were coming just raw-dogging it like that. He's back uh, and living in the van, that's why. Oh, you're yeah. back in the van? The van's I got my fixed? van back. Okay. I fixed it up. Okay, Woo! van yeah. back. Is that one of your cousins or something? <laughs> got it. Another one. <laughs> I love it. Van back. <laughs> Get over here, van back. <laughs> what else is going on in life, Hans Kim? I visited the uh, illustrious Red Rose recently. Oh, fuck. I, I, I always took you for more of a yellow rose kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> How was the Red Rose? How was that? It was sexually appealing. Oh, oh. shit. Really? Of... Any of those girls get you up to your full three and a half inches? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was your favorite part of the evening? My favorite part was uh, the beautiful Kaylee giving me a lap dance. Whoa, you got the actual Kaylee? Wow. Dean Stanfield paid for it. He, uh, Who did? Dean Stanfield. Okay. All right. You always shout out people that do favors <laughs> for you. It's always interesting. Hey, man, can I borrow 20 bucks? I swear I'll say your full name on Kill Tony on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Stanfield. I love it. Okay. That's the biggest thing Dean's ever done in his comedy career. That's pretty <laughs> exciting. He bought you a lap dance. So what are we talking? Were you wearing jeans? Were you, were you creepy like Red Band? Did you wear sweatpants or something? Like, <laughs> no, you wear the silky pants. And you put Vaseline in it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you are a monster. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I, I went with a girl uh, that I was interested in, and then I accidentally touched a stripper too long or something, and she got mad at me. Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> You're interested in a girl, and you decided to take her to a strip club? <laughs> Hans, come on, dude. <laughs> Hans, I thought you guys were smarter than that. It's like, so who's this girl, a comedian that you're interested in? Yeah. Oh, my God, is she here tonight? You want to ask her out on a date live on the show? Um, I don't think she's here. Oh, okay, well, that was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I put a dollar bill in her thong, and then I, like, sort of, like, whoops. Like, wow. <laughs> you did? 
Just yeah. a little George Washington, that's <laughs> it? A fucking yeah. $1 bill? How many nickels did you throw at her? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hans, you cheap fuck. <laughs> God, did you get? A, was that out in like the open, or did you go to a private room for that? It was in the main stage. Everyone oh. saw it. Okay. <laughs> okay. My goodness, where'd you get the one dollar bill from? Was that from Dean Stanfield as well? <laughs> it was actually from the girl. I. Uh... Oh my goodness. Oh, you took you took one of the dollars and just picked it up. <laughs> no, she paid me. Girlfriend. Oh, she, you had the girl, you had the date. The date. You a, wow. Yeah. Did, <laughs> yes. she, did she put any money in any of the girl's uh, clothes? I think she just made it rain. Oh, okay. But I gave her a lap dance, and so she paid me. It's great that she made it rain. This is a Native American girl you're into, huh? <laughs> you got one guy really liked that one. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Nate, hard to pull off a Native American joke in 2021. Cause, it's just not many of them left, you know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's a naughty show. All right, Hans, I mean, you are fucking doing your job better than just anybody yeah. possibly could right now. David, anything for Hans? What do you think about Hans? Hey, Tim? man, that's a killer set, bro. You funny as hell. There Thanks, you go. Man. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. David's got nothing but nice things to say. Hey. Hans, What's up, guys? Good to be here. Uh, I saw a sign in my neighborhood that said, 20 miles per hour when children are present. But how fast do I drive if the children are dwelling in the past? Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a thinker. Uh, I saw the skateboarder be like, I use skateboarding to express my emotions. But I've never needed a skateboard to do that. I've never been like, if only, I, if only I could tell you how I feel. If only I had my skateboard, I could tell you how I feel. <laughs> when you talk to your ex, it makes me feel like this. <laughs> uh, I love being Asian because I can go into Starbucks and tell them that my name is Ching Chong Bing Bong the Third. <laughs> They're like, that's not your name. And I'm like, excuse me, I come from a long line of bing bongs. <laughs> what are you, a ding dong? <laughs> Boom. Ha Hans Kim, ladies and gentlemen. The great and powerful Hans Kim. The newest Kill Tony regular. A brand new minute every single week. Another incredible performance. Shane, this is your first time seeing Hans Kim. What are your thoughts on Hans? I, I can't believe how talented and impressive you are. <laughs> I loved it. I loved every minute of it. You're my favorite guy I've ever seen. <laughs> no, it was good. It was great. <laughs> Lauren, help. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Thank you. Hans, though. Hans. You guys have probably covered that a thousand times. No, we really haven't talked about how Hans. Hans Kim? What are you, the Axis? <laughs> no, we have. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deep cut. All my World War II heads out there. What's yeah. good? <laughs> no, I like it. How did you end up with the name Hans? My parents were a year into America, and they didn't want kids to make fun of me for having an Asian name. Damn, dude. Oh, shit, dude. That's so funny. Your parents were so out of touch. They were like, what's the whitest fucking name we can think of? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that is Dude, incredible. I was about to do an Asian impression. I still got it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> about two more Bud Lights away. The filter is strong. <laughs> I still got a little filter. got a couple <laughs> more Bud Lights coming. They're coming. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I love it. Hans, what's been happening this week? Uh, I did uh, some comedy. Uh, I did the Vulcan show. I uh, partied with another hour. Uh, oh shit! Another hour. That's uh, wild times. They, always. They, what did you do? Any psychedelics? They had. Uh, they had acid. <laughs> I did a little of their lysergic acid. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they had some butt cream they were playing with. Uh, they had some butt cream and they. Oh, put what? It uh, hold on. Hold on. What, what exactly do you mean by butt cream? It's a red tube that says butt cream on it, and it, we were like. Listen up, butt cream. Or is, is. 
What did you do with the butt cream? Very was it good. just like prop comedy, or was it a you like? Did they use it? They were. They, it was like uh, we were, it was like a bit. It was like the party's bit is this butt cream. So they would like put it on their face and then dance what around. What is it? It's, it's a butt. What? what? It's butt paste. What? But what the fuck are you guys talking about? Yeah, that's acid talk butt right cream? there. Butt cream, boot cream, butt cream. So on the tube it says butt cream, and it's a real product. And what did you? What do you guys have it at your house for? You don't know why. Okie dokie. Uh, that's another hour for you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> They're a lot better at music than they are at conversation. I promise you that. Uh, <laughs> it's for hemorrhoids. And that could take a long time to explain. <laughs> One of them doesn't want to admit that they have hemorrhoids. Yeah, that's what's yeah. happening over there. Like, we, do don't you, know, yeah. we don't know how we got more Yeah, <laughs> There's just clearly hemorrhoid cream. It's almost like, yo, what a... <laughs> What the hell is this doing here? Wouldn't it, yo, wouldn't it be crazy if we just joked around about this? <laughs> Instead of like, I have hem- I've, I suffer severely from hemorrhoids. <laughs> oh my it's probably God. the drummer. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. A lot of sitting on a stool. That'll get you. Hans, what else this week? Any, 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 any new girlfriends or anything like that? You no. roll, you know. I must say, I must admit that you roll with a lot of uh, a lot of young ladies. <laughs> People notice. Yeah, I talked to some of the hottest girls in Austin comedy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're in Austin comedy. <laughs> what do you I'm talk to them the at shows? Girls. Do you mean? Like just they just talk to me. Like uh, we have really good conversations. Sometimes we even hug. Whoa. <laughs> My goodness gracious, that's exciting stuff right there. What do you think's happening? You think there's a boom happening? Isabella was talking about it. You think a lot of girls are starting to be attracted to the new Asian bad boys? <laughs> the old bad boys, if you offend yeah. them, they'll fucking uh, put a clip of you on the internet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think like women are getting more masculine, so they're like, oh, look, a man that's sort of like a woman. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, that's so true. So, that's what I'm no, talking not... about. <laughs> Keep switching those genders. It's just good for me, you know? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Plays right into your whole game. <laughs> I love it. How's the writing process been going for you? That's fun? It's been good. Honestly, I should write more, but it's, like, so hard because Austin is such a party all the time. Like, I've had more fun here just partying and... Playing Catan, you know, getting to know comedy girls. He's playing playing board games. Playing board games. Yeah, yeah. it's that rock star lifestyle. So. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like we we play Catan every night, and it's like you know, it's chill. It's not like so much loud music. It's just like people just communicating with each other. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think you're talking about cocaine. You're talking about cocaine. What's Are happening. you guys doing coke and playing Catan? Because that would be pretty fucking great. <laughs> we should we should take acid and do co- uh, and do Catan. <laughs> and do cocaine. <laughs> cocaine. Yeah, you just slip. <laughs> Little no, Freudian. Don't do slip. acid. Do coke and play Settlers of Catan, dude. That'd be nuts. That'd be like, you go to war with me, <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Hans. Every single week, you're absolutely killing it. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. What's up, guys? Good to be here. Uh, my family's pretty, pretty happy right now because my sister just got back from a mission trip. Uh, if you don't know what a mission trip is, that's when Americans go to third world countries to get new profile pictures. <laughs> she had a good photo shoot. Um, I, uh, I, I've realized that uh, if you've written a play, that's very impressive. And if you've performed in a play, that's very impressive. But if you've written and performed a play, that's not impressive at all. That's just a crazy person doing whatever the fuck they want to do. There's no white man in a suit telling you no. Anyways, here's some jokes I've written and performed. Um, I... Uh, I was talking to my white friend. He was like, dude, the only reason black people are bigger and stronger than white people is because we bred them as slaves to be that way. I was like, oh, why didn't you do that to yourselves? 
instead of giving a superpower to people who hate you. All right, thank you. Hans Kim, everybody, with a brand new minute. He's got to do this job every week. Not easy at all, debuting a new minute in front of the internet every week. How you been doing, Hans? I've been good. I've been uh, hitting the mic. I hit 20 mics today, uh, this week. Oh, wow. So. He's like the Dean Del Rey of Asians, bro. Yeah. It's he reminds true. me of the Earl Skakel of Asians, actually. He has like the very Earl Skakel. Skakel. Let's name more people nobody knows. Uh, <laughs> so to really bring this crowd into a ruckus here. We're just trying to connect with here. our friends back at home. So. Yeah, of course. No, our L.A. comic friends. Everybody knows Dean Del Rey and Earl Skakel, of course. Uh, Hans, so uh, let's talk about it. How's this week been going for you? You having fun in Austin? I've been having a blast. Yeah. Uh, I went to a pool party with all the cool comics, and uh, we, okay. uh, we changed together. It was pretty crazy. Whoa. Hans isn't afraid to change with the boys. We found out with about your three and a half, right? Is that what you said? Three and a half inches? Three and a half. No, Four five, and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Oh, okay. American average. Yeah. Asian massive. Yeah. In Asia, that's called a black cock. Uh, five and a half inches. Holy shit. And what's it, Hans, we never really ask you about your love life. What kind of girls are you into? You into Asian girls? I find that a lot of Asian guys are into Asian girls. They, they, they're set to default quite often, and they just go with what they know. I mean, who isn't into Asian girls? They're like the best. They're soft. They're small, and they do what they tell. What do they do? What you tell them to do? <laughs> Actually, we found out a lot about Hans Kim. He he he's dating a girl right now. Uh, that's a comedian. A Is that true? Girl. Yeah. We, last I'm trying to pursue a comedian right now. How's it working out? Is it going good? Very terribly. I took her to a strip club. Oh, that's right. We did talk about this last week. That's incredible. Have you made any moves with her since then? Uh, I mean, we're cool now. Like, I think uh, we're cool now. So, really? not gonna take her to any more strip clubs. Have you gotten a land? Have you landed a kiss on her or anything like that? Or are you like Dalen Mendoza and just go- <laughs> eating rolled ice cream and fucking it up? I'm like, I'm like Dalen. <laughs> When's the last? Have you ever been with a white girl before? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I used to date a white girl for six months. Uh, white girls are plentiful around America. But, uh... Thank you, Hans. I had no idea. I just got here super recently. I'm very excited to find that out, that white girls are plentiful here. <laughs> Happenstance would have it that that's, uh, very interesting. I love it. Guys, this is your first time seeing Hans Kim, right? These are both, uh, these are the, uh, Polly is, uh... Yeah, I don't, don't want to say yeah. anything. There's an Asian with you on stage. I'm scared. No, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. This is one of the good ones, Polly. You gotta be nice <laughs> to these fuckers, dude. Seriously. This is one of the good, this is one of the good ones. Uh, these fuckers. You know that, uh, you know that's a rowdy, rowdy race, but, uh, this is, uh... <laughs> This is one of the good ones. Uh, Hans. Very angry, Whoa, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm changing my mind about him here. Hold on. I love it. Hans famously sang the national anthem to kick off the first Kill Tony back from my cancellation. Two weeks after my cancellation. Super canceled. <laughs> all my buddies are like, it'll blow over, dude. Just take a few months off. It'll all be good. I'm like, ah, how about two weeks? <laughs> I'm going to have Hans Kim sing the national anthem. Trust me, it'll be fine. They're like, what? And then I hung up the phone. <laughs> Was it like the national anthem of like North Korea? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I had him sing the American national anthem. He had to read from pieces of paper, but uh, <laughs> we, got, we got through it. Took a while, but we got through it. So Hans, what do you think it's going to take for you to bang this uh, American white girl comedian that you're into? Probably uh, testosterone. Uh... <laughs> You think if we brought her on stage right now that she'd give you a big kiss? Have you kissed her yet? <laughs> Have you kissed her? Hans, look at me. Have you kissed her yet? No. You haven't kissed her on the lips? I don't think she's here. Really? How, yeah. how about another white girl? You want to kiss another white yes. girl? Yes. Is there a white girl out there that wants to kiss Hans Kim? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Hans Kim here. I make out with a different girl every Kill Tony. Come watch Kill Tony. 
Who wants Anybody? to kiss me? We have a great fan base here. I see a lot of beautiful women out there. Someone want to come down here and come on, get come downstairs, you dirty Please. whore. We're about to have some fun. Someone is someone coming down? Is someone coming down? Oh, D Madness is gonna do it, everybody. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. D Madness doesn't give a fuck. Oh, here comes one right here. Look at this! Hit it! Oh shit! Come on, hit the fucking. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, stop. What the fuck? My Instagram is MilaBaby underscore XO. I'm a dancer in Miami. Hold on, hold on. Wait, we can't hear you. Are you from Miami? Did you take a shit in front of the last guy? No, I didn't. I'm half Orlando. Where so. did you come from? Were you, were you born on Rainy Street? What happened here? She looks like she just walked out of bangers like that. No, I just... I just I'm a whore. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. What my the mind, fuck? My mind is completely blown. For those of you just listening to the podcast, you're fucking up, man. This chick was tried to say goodbye and Hans went in for round two and took it right to the dome. Hans Kim, you are a badass motherfucker. Thank you. <laughs> Please, I have more to offer. Your South Korean parents would be so disappointed if they could see what you were doing here in wild Texas. If you had white parents, they'd be so proud, but your <laughs> South Korean parents would be very dishonored about uh, you just making out with random white chicks with extremely hard, hard nipples, nipples, by yeah, the way. Let me see that wow. I mean, Jesus Christ. Looks like she already has a couple fortune cookies in her bra waiting for you, Hans. Those, oh, those things were ruckus. I, I mean, my was, God, Hans. That was awesome. Hell yeah. I don't know. Wow. She seems wild. I, I think you went from hot and sour to cold sore. <laughs> There's going to be a big something popping up. You know, what, you know what's cool? What's the girl that you like? What's her name? The girl that you talked about before, oh, Isabella she, Charlton. Wow. Yeah. Well, she's going to see that, and you're going to get some <laughs> pussy because of that, dude. Because that me, chick, me. yo, that chick that was on stage was hot as fuck, bro. I don't yeah. know about that, Paul. Is there any chance Isabella's here? Isabella, if you're here, come to the stage. Let's have a talk with Isabella. That's the girl that he likes. Isabella, are you here? Is it really happening? Come to the stage, the Isabella. Come noise. to the stage. Holy shit, Isabella Charlton is here, everybody. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. What a magical episode of Kill Tony. First of all, Isabella, a great comedian. She was on the show last week. She's been on the show numerous times, famously from England, has a funny take on our fucking country. I cannot wait to hear to find out to see what she thinks about this Hans Kim situation. Isabella, first of all, remind us all. Isabella, are you currently single? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's a good start. Okay, Isabella. Uh, hand Isabella the microphone, Hans. Isabella, what do you think about all that's happening right now? <laughs> I can't tell whether you're, you have no idea what the fuck's going on or if you're really disappointed that Hans kissed a <laughs> smurf before you came up here. Kiss him, kiss him, kiss him. Right, guys? Kiss him. Fuck off, kiss fuck him, off, kiss fuck him. Off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Isabella, what's your situation? You ever kissed an Asian guy before? Fuck have, off. Have you ever kissed an Asian guy? Look, you're in America. Yeah, I grew up you, in Hong Kong. Yeah, listen, you fucking Brit. You're in America right now. You're going to answer our questions. Yeah, lock the fucking doors. You have kissed an Asian guy, right? Yeah. Wait, we talked to you last week. Didn't you say that you dated an Asian gay, guy for a I while? I grew up in Hong Kong. I dated an Asian guy. I dated oh. a Eurasian guy. Yeah. Oh, shit. He loves you. He loves okay. You. So what do you think? Hans is a good-looking guy. He's I'm genuinely disgusted in him as a person. And he what? knows that. Why are you disgusted? By the way, take it from me. You can't say that 
any type of Asian person's disgusting anymore. Uh, I happen to know this for a fact. My grandmother called me and uh, she told me that I fucked up, so. What, what are you disgusted in, Isabella? Help us to understand what's going on right now. His behavior, I can't even believe. I, I think that girl that was here should come on stage and kiss fucking her, bro. Whoa. Oh shit, here she is. Wait, oh. wait, 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. What in the world is Hans is going in for four? <laughs> Hans just keeps trying. <laughs> what? What are you saying? It's the tequila. Sure, don't make any excuses. Hans, we need Hans has been drinking fucking sake all night, excited about this. Isabella, I mean, look at this. This is a pretty fucking good-looking chick coming up here and taking your, uh, taking your dinner right from you. <laughs> Isabella, what do you think about this? Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, don't carry him away. Don't, <laughs> uh, she don't wants... put him in your pocket and run. Uh, go. <laughs> uh, it appears as though she wants to make out with both of you so badly. I don't know... Oh. <laughs> Isabella's like, I'm, fuck no. I'll bet, I'll bet, <laughs> I'll bet your red band gives you a spot on Thursday at his. Uh, I mean, Isabella, if you want a spot on Thursday, uh, I'm no, doing a show here on Wednesday. Maybe oh, she'll... you can open up for Polly. You can do the Death Squad show. I have COVID. Oh, she has COVID. Everybody, there you go. Uh, I love it. What are you two? Hold on. Uh, Isabella, come back over to Hans. Just stand on the other side of him. It's okay. No. You, can't, you, you can't catch whatever she has just by standing close to her. Uh, hell yeah. She just gave me the middle finger. I wanted to put a condom on it uh, so that nothing, nothing spreads. Hans is like, don't let him talk to you like that. Come <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> they are just making out. These two, by the way, by the way, right now Hans is like Isabella. Who? <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God, he went from fucking Hogwarts to Pussy Warts over here. <laughs> yes, this is Kill Tony. All right, time to fuck. There he goes, Hans Kim, everybody. Isabella, thank you so much. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, if you can't tell by my shirt, I'm a very sexual person. <laughs> but it's uh, kind of difficult for me to have sex because 99% of my sex career was solo. And... Now I have to have an orgasm while someone's fogging up my glasses. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know what my name is. You don't have to keep saying it. <laughs> Where's my office chair? I'm gonna come. <laughs> I am single. Uh, I have yet to meet my soulmate. I'm beginning to think maybe it's her fault. She needs to get out more. <laughs> she seems like a loser. I think I could do better. <laughs> My friends are always like, dude, you need to learn how to talk to women. Maybe or maybe women should learn how to listen to Hans. <laughs> Why don't you want to hear about the Federal Reserve? <laughs> We're at a party, relax. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Hans Kim, another new minute from Hans Kim, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Unbelievable performance. As always, you did it again, Hans. Fuck yeah. Look at him pointing at his favorite people. In the oh, that was the Asian guy. You guys yeah. had your little connection there. Look at that. 
little peace sign. You guys want to take a selfie together or something? You guys have your selfie sticks on you? Whoa, that's an Asian stereotype. Anyway. Uh, fuck yeah, Hans. Welcome, welcome. I love, I love that shirt. I, I actually, those are what my pillowcases are made out of. Yeah. That exact thing. Egyptian that, cotton. Ab- it's not. It's like satin. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think I have some of your jizz on here. Oh, okay. That's true. I got rid of those pillowcases after jizzing on them. So. <laughs> Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons, this is your first time seeing the great Hans Kim. What are your thoughts over here? I, I don't know what to say. I want to develop a photo in that shirt. Um, <laughs> I, I was very impressed. I think there's a lot of... Uh, I think the soulmate premise is really fucking good. I think there's something funny about, like, meeting your soulmate and realizing that you can do better. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. That's really funny. You should do more with that. Thank you. Hans coming off a big, big episode last week where uh, he got to kiss a girl. I asked if there was a girl in the audience, and uh, and a, wow. and, and like a like a like a Austin Ten came on stage. Uh, yeah, totally, like not even kiss. You guys like went to it, and I heard. I I guess I left, but I heard Hans puked in five different places in Vulcan that night. <laughs> well. I only saw one. He famously puked in the trash can. Yeah, there was a lot, uh, we right? Were, we were, we were yeah. laughing pretty hard at that. But <laughs> Let's talk about the other four places. That, uh, was that true? Were there multiple places? I puked in the sink uh, in that bathroom. I puked on the sidewalk. Look at you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just marking your territory, fucking. That's actually well, uh, how coronavirus got started. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hans is originally from Wuhan. Not a lot of people know that. Wuhan's very own Hans Kim. Incredible. Uh, so that was fun. And then you admit you made out with a girl, and then you just kept making out with her over and over again. It was very incredible. We oh, yeah. loved it. The crowd went absolutely wild because Hans is such an innocent. He's such a good person, and he's such an innocent guy. Uh, have you uh, made out with anybody since then? No. That's a shame. You know what? Uh. Is there a woman out in the audience that wants to come up and... Why don't we have someone... Listen, let me, let me just say something real quick. Is that Kill Tony famously has the greatest fans in the world. I mean, look at us on a Monday. 270 people deep here. I'm positive. I'm going to ask one more time. It always works. We've never had... A... No, wait. Can I just interrupt for one second? Sure. The last time he kissed a girl, he threw up five times. Is there a guy that wants to make out with Han? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of guys that want to do that. Almost every single man in this room wants to... Hey, there's another Asian guy. I just noticed you right now. Look at this fucking... You were there the whole time? Man, you guys are like silent, polite people. I literally didn't even notice you there. Stealthy. It's incredible. It's incredible. You guys are special, special, good people. Really good people, the Asian people. Um, I'm going to switch it back. How, it, there has to be a woman out there that wants to give Hans Kim a big kiss. Guys, he's one of the funniest people. There's got to be someone. We send got him, someone. Send him, come on down. Come down that staircase. This chick's She's just waving down. from a balcony. Is she coming? Oh, wow, oh. look at this. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Luli. Hello, you stay right there. I want to talk with you. Oh, my God. Hans Kim just got to make out with the bride of Chucky. I love it. This is incredible. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Of course. I love this. I, I just want to hold you by the shoulders and blow all those hairs off your head like a dandelion. <laughs> Very sweet. Oh, look at this. Incredible. Absolutely. This is wild. I happen to know Hans is a big fan of M&M's, so he got to knock two things off his bucket list tonight. I'm close enough to a man, right? right. You are adorable. What's your name? My name is Katie. Hi, Katie. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm well. What brought you here tonight? I'm on a date. Oh, really? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. 
with Hans Kim now. Oh, shit. Was Hans a good kisser? A lot Actually, of peop- not bad. Yeah, that's what a lot of people but are saying. I took control, that's why. You're what? <laughs> I took control, that's why that's it was good. That's right, that's right. What does he taste like, sweet and sour? He actually didn't taste bad. Refreshing. That's great. Hans has a fucking suntan. Look I'm at the contrast. I'm actually a stripper. You're so a stripper? Can I get a job? Wait a second. Where are you a stri- what what pet store are you a stripper at exactly? I wear I wear a wig when I strip. What? I wear a wig when I strip. Really? Yeah. What's your stripper name? My name is Tara. Tara? And can I plug my OnlyFans? Sure, why not? Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, it's OnlyFans.com slash Tara's World21. Alright. There you go. Absolutely. If you want to see me naked. What's the craziest thing that you do on your OnlyFans? Is there any, uh, are there any like, uh, what the, you, you just, I don't want to guess. You just tell us. But, uh. I, the most recent post, you do get to see pussy. Wow. wow. Look at that. Red Man already subscribed. Yeah. Uh. Right <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Now, My do you goodness. have to pay a couple dollars extra for creamy content or anything like free, that? Free, it's free. Red Band, turn off your microphone. <laughs> okay. So this date that you're on, is this the first date that you're on tonight? No, nah, it's like the third or fourth. Oh, okay, so you guys have like hooked up and everything? Yeah, of course. Okay, so what do you think this guy's going to say about you? I asked before. Okay. I'm polite. All right. Okay. And he said, he said, go right ahead. During he said, this, go ahead. During this pandemic, go make out with a... Uh... <laughs> I love it. You guys are dirty. Of course. Um, wow, you seem like a wild, wild girl, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the most wild sexual thing you've ever done? Ooh, I've had sex in the hallway of a cruise. Whoa. Like the room, the, the main like room's hallway where the like, rooms are? you know are? where it's all lit up and anyone can walk by? Yeah. Oh, shit, dude. How long did that last? Not long. No. The guy finished seconds. quickly? Yeah, he came on himself. Yeah, that makes sense. After 20 seconds, you have to come on yourself. Of course. Everyone knows you have to last at least five minutes to come on the other person. Exactly. You got to earn it. Yeah. It's a real, you have to punish yourself. That's how you learn the lesson the hard way. Like, I fucked up, I'm sorry. (laughs) Hans, what's the longest you've, uh, what's the longest you've lasted with a girl sexually? You seem like the kind of guy that uh, finishes in 40 minutes or less, for sure. (laughs) Uh, Probably about 15 minutes. Whoa, 15 minutes. Not long enough. Wow, what would we have to do to get Hans in the bedroom with you and this date that you're with tonight? <laughs> oh, I love bisexual men. The guy I'm with is up for He's... He might be up for something. Oh, shit, really? Why don't, why don't we call him down here? Get the date down here. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> here he comes, the guy that brought... <laughs> here he comes, everybody. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, bro. Hi, Jordan. What's up, my man? Welcome, welcome. You guys are adorable. Look at this fucking crew. I feel like I'm looking through a microscope and I'm seeing chlamydia. (laughs) Protection is necessary. I love this shit. Oh, fuck. (laughs) What's your name, sir? My name is Jonah. What is it? Jonah. Like the whale. Like the whale. Jonah and the whale. Jonah. You got munch of cheese on you. That's awesome. Okay. (laughs) There you go. Red man with a little shirt commentary at the the (laughs) points where it matters the most, everybody. There you go. Weird. Red man noticed an animated design, everybody. from the 80s. There you go. No, truly, no one gives a fuck. Uh, I love it. So this is your guys' like third, fourth, fifth date, something like that? You guys have been banging it out? Something like that. My God, I bet you guys have the weirdest pubic hairs. Am I correct? You guys have, like, dye jobs down there? It, it looks oh, like this. Of course you're shaved. It looks, it looks like this. And you, and you sort of swing. You, like, have sex with almost anything, right? Is that true? There's if, a rumor going around. You want to find out? No, no, I don't want to find out, no. <laughs> 
We'll be right back after these messages here on Kill Tony. No, I'm kidding. We don't have commercial Zip breaks. Recruiter. Uh, I love it. Can we get a can we get a tally on piercings? You've got three in your nose. You've got one on your oh, nose. Shit, what do you got there? Right. You're allowed to show us. If you, yeah. if you go, if you face, if you face that way, there you go. There's <laughs> one. Oh, the no video story. recording, <laughs> sir. Look at this guy over here. Oh, okay. okay, okay, that's enough. Got Jesus it. Christ. <laughs> My God. What the fuck do you think's going on over here? It's I, I, I turned back around. She's giving Greg a lap dance. And it, uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, and how many on you? Just the one? Okay. That's it? You don't have your uh, little ding dong? You want to find out? No. Prince Albert? No, I have an IUD. That would not speaking work out of, well. Speaking of ding dong, let's check back in with Hans Kim over here. Uh, <laughs> Hans, what do you think about this good-looking couple? It's like, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know what it's like. Uh, it's like Danger Mouse or something like that, right? What's the band with the crazy Danger Polish Mouse? chick? It's like a... What? What's the fucking one? Uh, you know, D. Antwoord, thank you so Jeez. much. Hell yeah, we'll edit that in where I said uh, Danger Mouse. It'll get a big laugh. We'll put a huge laugh in there. Um... So, uh, Hans, what do you think about this? What do you, do you think you could spend the night with fucking, uh... Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when Hans plays back. It's so weird. <laughs> I think they're like a great experimental, adventurous American couple, and if you'd like to teach this young Asian boy your American ways... And then we'll talk about it next week. You'll give us, Hans, you'll give us the full update next week? For sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Hans Kim, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, the Olympics are in Japan this year. You can tell because the gymnasts have blurred crotches. <laughs> it's an octopus in the swimming pool. I, uh, I don't understand why people molest children because they have the most time to come avenge you, you know? <laughs> when they're 25, you're 65. <laughs> That's why I only molest the elderly. My sister's kind of a bitch. She's like, did you know that your toilet water is cleaner than the drinking water in Africa? I was like, that's the pipes that we have. What do you want me to do about it? If I see an African walking down the street, I'll let him drink from my toilet. It's not a problem. <laughs> just, just flush afterwards. I don't want to get AIDS, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Holy shit. Hans Kim. Wow. Coming in. Just absolutely fucking murderous way to start the show. I mean, Jesus Christ, those are a couple of my favorite jokes I've heard in forever yeah. from absolutely anybody. Yeah, that, that molesting joke is probably my favorite joke of 2021, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> there you go. It's been a good I... year for molesting. Hans, you are absolutely on fire. We have seen you uh, take the momentum of becoming a Kill Tony regular and ride it into the heavens, my friend. Famously, uh, great sets every single time. Michael, what did you think about Hans' set tonight? Um, well, um, I'm uh, mad that he's so good <laughs> because um, I want all the regular attention. That's true. That's very honest. Very honest. <laughs> Extremely honest. Hans also famously has these great appearances after the show where he sits there, he listens to me. Have you had a fun week this week? Yes, I had a blast at one of the coolest parties I've ever been to. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you, we don't have to talk about that, but uh, oh. let's, talk, let's talk about your appearance last week where famously, uh, famously, um, you people haven't seen it yet, but maybe, how many of you were at last week's show physically? Oh, okay. Well, then some of you may know, uh, Hans famously uh, made out with a girl. This is, that was his second week in a row where an, 
A random female audience member came to the stage. You made out with her. And then afterwards... I heard about this. Immediately afterwards, during the elusive and uh, highly rumored about Kill Tony after parties that sometimes happen, he had sex with her in the broom closet, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, but Tony, he didn't tell you that the guy also had sex with him in the broom closet. That's a joke. That's what that's where Red Band throws in a wacky joke. But I thought that no was one just... had sex with my dear boy Hans Kim. I would never <laughs> let another man mate with Hans. Uh, but no, you had sex with this girl. Let's talk about it. How was it? She was a little uh, firecracker. She had the little butch haircut. It was a whole thing. She was very energetic and enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know, like, what, what stood out as energetic and enthusiastic to you? Like, well, we did a little doggy style. We did mostly doggy style. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Did you eat the dog afterwards? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Hey, I'm sorry. It was low-hanging fruit. Low-hanging fruit. I'm sorry. You thought I would have learned by now. <laughs> and uh, she, she did the thing uh, where she backs into it and, like, does a little circle motion. Whoa. Oh. Hell Professional. <laughs> yeah, the old fucking ass tornado. I've seen that before. Michael. I would just like to say now more than ever, I hate Hans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, um, yeah. Um, I moved here for that. Right? <laughs> and uh, the biggest surprise is being a worker is more of a deal breaker than being Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. <laughs> yeah, Michael has not got to have sex in the broom closet. However, once uh, the janitor did think he was a mop and bucket. Uh, it's the closest to having sex in a broom closet. That well, there's no done. ramp into the broom closet. <laughs> That's true. There's always steps to the broom closet. Uh, so Hans, well, tell tell me more. How did it finish? What was the uh, what what happened when you uh, when you climaxed? Like what was that like exactly? Was that the, during the was that during the doggy style or the ass spinning? Like what does it take <laughs> what does it take to make a guy like Hans Kim come? So there was the ass spinning in the beginning, and then it was just straight back and forth linear. Uh, oh, linear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Geogra ge geometrically fucking regular sex. Okay. How long did you last? It, it was like a good... 60 no. seconds. There was a sound of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Well, how long did you last? Uh, I would say like five minutes. Okay. Good. That's respectful. Yeah. That's pretty good for in a broom closet. Yeah. Normally, like broom closet sex, the guy comes immediately because you're thinking, wow, what a dirty girl this is. Right. Uh, <laughs> this is so wrong. And that's exactly how most guys come. I think what? that's what most guys are into. Do you remember like what your <laughs> sounds and face look like when you came? <laughs> Tony! I'm sorry, I did it again. That part might get edited out. I'm going to be honest with you. Just kidding. I always just say that. Nothing gets edited out. Maybe uh, we'll beep that part. We'll yeah, beep it we'll and beep put a blur part. over my face because yeah. I went cross-eyed <laughs> for no reason. That's insulting. Uh, no, what was it like? How'd you come? What was it like? I was uh, doing the linear motion, and then she, uh, she, she disembarked. And oh, wow. I, I didn't realize she was on a cruise ship this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then she started uh, giving me a little blowjob <laughs> with the condom on. Whoa. Ew. Oh, she kept the condom on? Yes. Horrible. That means she knows something you, she, that you don't want to know. Wait, if why did you the... have a condom on? Okay, right there. She, she just, wanted just a condom. Take it, take it all. Let's just all soak it in. Let's slow it down. And then after the blowjob was over... Uh, I still I, want to know the answer to his question. Did you put the condom on or did she put the condom on you originally? She was insistent on the condom. Oh, okay. Yeah, My friend, dude. So we were in the closet and then we got trapped <laughs> in it. We couldn't open the door. So then I called my buddy, Ridge. Ridge. And he came and opened the door, and I was like, dude, do you have a condom? And he's like, yeah, here you go. And I was like, dude, you're the best. And then Holy shit, Rich came to there. the janitor's closet? Yeah. By the way, it's incredible. I have never in my life heard of condom sex in the janitor's closet before. <laughs> right. 
That's like the opposite. The, yeah, the fact that you had sex with such a dirty girl in such a what should be a clean place is uh, <laughs> incredible. And you had clean sex in a dirty place. It's all like mind blowing if you think about it. You like broke the matrix of dirty hookups at a bar venue. And then she wouldn't let me finger her in the parking lot yesterday. <laughs> Red Band is insistent on knowing I just want to know. I just want <laughs> on what your face is like when you come. Show the audience. Look right at that camera right across there and show us your cum face. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was worth it. Well, I mean, incredible to know all this information, but you know, there's still a part of me that wants to keep this momentum going. I think we can do better. The first week he made out with the girl, the second week he made out with her on the stage, and then after the show had sex in a broom closet. Let's see what happens this week. Is there a Kill Tony fan out there? Is there a lady out there that wants to come up and start a new segment called Monday Night with Hans? (laughs) Uh, Maybe start a family this time? Every week there's always a beautiful girl that comes down, sometimes from the balcony, sometimes from down here. How many of you think we should get a girl up here to make out with Hans tonight? (laughs) This guy doesn't seem to think so, huh? This fucking tough guy. Drove all the way from Round Rock to be here tonight. Has no idea where he is right now. It's like, what's up with all these faggots talking about sex? Well, uh, actually, I, uh, I brought a date to tonight's show, so... What? What the fuck are you wow. doing, man? And that was, that was, that was Hans' existence as a regular, everybody, <laughs> was that. You brought a date? Yeah. Well, why doesn't she come down and make out with you then? Well, that, that's a good point. Get down here. Where is she? This is taking too long. Hans, don't bring a fucking date to kill Tony. Oh, look, it's my day. Oh, shit. Look at this easy hoe. Hey, it's Paige. Wait. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Let me tell you something. I, I got to tell you something. That's not good. This whole bring a date to kill Tony thing is some bullshit. Yeah. This chick probably knows that if she goes on a date with you on a Monday that she gets a... That's the laziest yeah, it's, kiss it's, I've it's, seen out of all the kisses the past few weeks. That's like you a guys, sponsor that we don't get paid for. <laughs> yeah, that kiss was fucking... I, I, I mean... Take your shirt off and kiss him. <laughs> really wait, wait, let's... Sh- everybody... S- no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Stop, stop, stop. Red man, can you chill a little bit? How much Red Bull did you have before tonight's fucking show? Hold on. Hans. What the fuck is a date on? How did, how, how did you start this date? What happened here? We Where did you guys on, fucking meet? We met on Instagram. Oh, God. She, <laughs> Hans, you are such a fucking pushover. <laughs> met on Instagram. Who met who? How did this happen? Uh, do you want to tell them? No, I don't want her to talk okay. right now. I'm pretty sure we're, this is all her plans unfolding. She and that's exactly me. what she wants you to say, and she's going to make some fucking shitty joke if you put that <laughs> mic in front of her face. She invited me to a Jason Mraz concert. Just randomly on Instagram out of nowhere? Yeah. She... It was like uh, So she's a fan of bag. the show? She, she saw it once and was... Uh... Does she know the show? Do you know the show? I had a friend show me. Yeah, so that's a yes. Okay. Is there another girl in the audience that'll come down here while Hans is on a fucking date and show Hans, show this girl what a real kiss looks like on a Monday night? I'm going to wait until it happens. I'm going to fucking wait. I know a miracle will happen here. (laughs) That girl did not think it was going to go that way. <laughs> no, Tony. Yes, Michael. Um, the irony, the irony is... Is this one coming? I think she wants to come up. Yes, come on up here. Put your... <laughs> this is the greatest show in the world. And you are at it right now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look at this shit! Yeah! Yes! 
Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Wow, that is absolutely... Hans's date came to an abrupt end just now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and to the broom closet we go! Yeah. Hey, thank you, sweetheart. You're a legend. What's your name? How about Amber Alyssa, everybody? Hans, this is taking way too long, but I gotta ask you, how do you feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> Tony, should we get the date back up to see what she feels about this? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe she can go to, off to a Jason Mraz concert or uh, something like that. But Bring a date on your Monday night show. Michael, what do you think about all this? Um, you know, I'm in the handicap bathroom before the show. I fucked Hans's thing. Hans's what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Michael fucked Hans' day. This is going to be the first podcast that has subtitles on it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you listening, just use the Braille app on your iPhone. Uh, I love it. Um, Hans, you're a fucking legend. What a great way to get the show started. Thank uh, you so much. Hans Kim, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,